Now a few days back Android engineering team had a Q&A session on Reddit and that AMA was about Android 10.0 Q, some explanations and all. An exciting part is they also gave some information, the initial information on Android R. And of course we have XGA, they found some great information on the next year's Android software. I won't waste your time in starting things with the features that are planned for Android R that is 11.0. So the first one is identity credential that means you will be able to securely store identification cards which includes your digital driver license, passports and other important documents on your device. An interesting part is you can assist them even your smartphone is not having any power, is out of battery to boot the system. And I'm clueless, I have no idea how Google is gonna do this thing. But that is going to eliminate any need to carry any important documents, any physical documents. So this is interesting cause all you need in future is the smartphone itself. That's it. The second feature incoming is the smart call forwarding. So with the R, if one SIM is not reachable or you are at a place where the SIM is going out of network again and again, you'll get a prompt, you'll get an option in the user interface itself if you want to use the smart call forward or not. And turning on that option will eventually forward your unreachable SIM card call to the reachable one. Yeah, you should be having dual SIM functionality for that and one SIM must be unreachable or unavailable, something like this. And maybe that also means we are getting the dual SIM functionality with the Pixel 4 or maybe the Pixel 5. The third feature that is coming and is officially confirmed by Android engineering team is the scrollable screenshot and even the vice president Dave has confirmed this thing. So yes, it is finally coming to stock Android. In case you're not aware of the stock Android does not have any scrolling screenshot option. However, brands like Motorola, OnePlus who use stock Android, near stock Android have enabled this long shot option. So yes, now finally Google is planning for this thing. That's great. And at last you'll finally see the call recording option with the Android R. See this thing was initially planned for Android Q. But things went on different direction and due to some security and privacy implications. Google skipped this thing with the Q. However, good news is they are ready to include this thing with the Android R. So get ready, the 11.0 is coming really soon. Next year, of course, starting March or Feb, you're gonna see the developer previews for this one also. And apart from that, we may see some changes in the gestures and user interface. That's all, we'll have more information for those waiting for the next Android software. So you have to like and subscribe right now for this one. And just comment down what features would you love to see with the Android R. And thanks for watching. I'll meet you guys in the next one. Peace out.